Okay, now that we have seen definitions of absolute and relative extrema, we have seen when absolute and extrema are guaranteed to happen. We need to figure out still how we can, given a region and a function, try to extract the candidate points for relative and absolute extrema. Um, let's think about this. Relative extrema will look like what? Like if it's a, a relative maximum, it will be like the top of a hill. Right? It will look something like right? something like this. This will be, this will be a relative uh, maximum. When that happens, you see, because it's from every possible way it reaches the top, over there the tangent plane will be parallel. Which means the gradient, like the um, the partial derivative with respect to x, the partial derivative with respect to y, will be both zero, right? And similarly, if it was a bottom of a valley, if you flip this picture upside down, again the tangent plane is horizontal. Now, it doesn't have to be a maximum or minimum. Uh, it could also be a saddle point. We have seen the saddle function. So as this way is going up, and this way is going down. This way also, the derivative this way is zero, like the slope this way, and the derivative since it's this way is also zero. So the two derivatives are again zero. Also, the points don't have to be smooth such that you can put a tangent plane. They could be sharp points like the, 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 the triangular top of a house roof, let's say in the front or something like that. All those are examples of relative extrema. Not the cell point. The cell point is not a relative extrema. But at those points, the, the two partial derivatives are zero. Okay? Or they are not going to be defined because of sharpness. So we define what is called a critical point. So we say x naught y naught would be called a critical point for f, f of two variables, function of two variables, so one of the following is true. So what either you have f sub x at x naught y naught equals 0 and f sub y at x naught y naught equals 0 or Now we have a point theorem here, which we, you know, the, let's erase this thing.
Yeah. It's telling me saying that if you're going to have a random back string on, then at a given point, and at that point, you're basically going to have a critical point. Warning, right? This is one way of indication. Uh, if x naught, y naught is a critical warning for that, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that f must have. So it could be a point that is maximum with respect to y, but minimum with respect to x or vice versa. But overall, it's neither a hill, neither a valley. Okay? So it's a several point. So, so uh, if you have a relative extremum, then it's going to be a critical point. But not all critical points will be relative extremum. So when you want to test now, this tells us what we're going to do. We're going to take our partial derivatives, check where they both zero, or check where at least one fails to exist. That will let you solve for a whole bunch of points. That collection of points will be your candidates for relative extrema. Then you'll check each one of them if they're relative maximum, relative minimum, or neither. Okay? We'll do a couple of, maybe two or three examples actually to see how that works.